Hey guys, it's Abby. And today I have a mystery beauty box that I bought off of Poshmark. I was trying to think, did I get it off of Etsy or did I get it off of Poshmark? I got it off of Poshmark, but I did buy one from Etsy, but it was like a $20 one. This is a $40 mystery box. It's a beauty mystery box. Did I say that? And it's supposed to have over $140 worth of product in there or maybe not over, but there's supposed to be $140 worth of product. I have not opened it. It is still sealed. I'm holding a microphone. I was going to put it, <laughs> if you're wondering what this is. Anyway, if you're wondering what this is, it's a microphone. And I was going to put it right here, but it kept like dragging my shirt down. And I like the shirt. I like this. So I didn't want to ruin it. But then now I have to hold this damn thing and it looks weird. I've never held a microphone in my entire life. I don't even think, okay, that's a lot. No, I don't think I've held a microphone in my entire life. I've like sang into microphones, but I didn't have to hold them. Um, so yeah, this is a new experience. And if I did hold a microphone back in those days, they didn't look like this. Okay. They were gigantic. If my memory is correct and I did hold one, but I don't think I ever held one. Maybe I did. I don't remember, but why am I even talking about this? Okay. So today we're going to open up a beauty mystery box and we are going to see if it's worth it. Okay, so let's open this box because I just talked your ears off for four minutes about my hair. You guys probably don't care. That was a rhyme. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me put my microphone down. This is going to be very difficult. Hold on. Can you still? I'll link the seller in my description box for you guys. Um, just in case you like this box and you want it. But if the box isn't good, and I'm not saying it's not, we have no idea. But if it's not good, or if you don't like the box, if you don't like the box for the amount of money that I paid for it, don't go over to the seller and say anything to them. Um, just don't, we don't need to. We don't need to, but if it's great, buy yourself one. I think, think I got my box on sale. I think it was originally $50, but I got it for 40. Okay, here's the box. And there's three packages inside. So we're gonna open them. Should we open the smallest first? Okay. Okay, so here is the little package. It says a little has a little thank you, part of thank you sticker. We have hand and body lotion. Um, we do, okay, I'm not going to look at the list because um, I don't want to look at it. She says, thank you, Abigail. Blessings, wellness, joy to you and yours, Diane. All right, so I'm not going to look at the list. We'll go through the list at the end. All right. So the first thing is dragon's blood rodile sculpting gel i actually received this in one of my ipsies before got this an appeal cosmetics ultra cream lipstick in the shade i don't know next level so i do like appeals lipsticks i've gotten them before in subscription boxes maybe this lady has subscriptions and she sells um subscription boxes which is i mean mystery boxes which is smart oh i'm not holding my microphone maybe she sells mystery boxes where did i put my scissors found them um with the stuff she gets from subscription boxes i used to think about doing that um when i was getting a ton of boxes i was like maybe i should just sell the stuff but i never did because if you don't know, I'm la I'm lazy. I'm not lazy when it comes to like my kids or, um, you know, like my everyday stuff, but I just don't like, if I'm like, Oh, here's an idea. I'm going to do this. I don't do it. I, I'm just, I don't do it. Maybe that's not being lazy. It's just being, um, I'm a procrastinator. Okay. So here is the lipstick. It's actually really pretty. I do like that color and 
There is the swatch. Ooh, okay. That is pretty. Kind of a little bit like the tint I have on my lips. I'm wearing a Milani tint. You guys, it's freaking amazing. I love this tint so much. I'll link it in my description box for you. Okay, so we got that lipstick. And then we have an Ulta Beauty Matte Liquid Lip. And this is in the shade Made in China. Is that what it's called? Made in China? There's no color on it, but, or shade name. I don't think they'd name it made in China. I actually am happy with the colors so far of what I got. There is the liquid lip because I'll wear those. I'll wear these colors. They're very wearable. Okay. Let's open this one. It's bubble wrapped. The first thing is the June Jacobs Neroli Hydrating Mist. There's 30 milliliters, so one fluid ounce. And what does this do? So you put it on after cleansing your face. Oh, it's a toner. This is a toner. Okay. It's a mist toner. Then I think this is ColourPop. Oh, no, it's Beauty Crop. The Beauty Crop. It's a cocoa gold mist. It's a hydrating setting mist. And you can see there's a little bit of, like, shimmer in there. My daughter Scarlett might really, might really like this. I have a hard time putting mists on my face. But, okay, so we got this. All right, last but not least. So far, I'm not super excited about this at all. But again, it was $40. So, I mean, all of this equals up to $40 already. But, like, I was hoping for, I don't know, something else. Okay. It's cute in the tissue paper. I'm going to close my eyes so I don't see what's in it before you guys. Okay, I'm not going to close my eyes, but I'm going to look up. Okay, close my eyes. I can't. There's quite a few things in here. I can feel them falling on my lap. Okay. First thing. Be a bombshell lip gloss. Right here. And this is in the shade Saucy. I knew it was going to be red. I knew it. Okay, so there we go. That's a very opaque lip gloss. Oh, wait. Is that a lip gloss or a lipstick? It kind of looks like a lipstick. Um, doesn't that look like a lipstick? That doesn't look like a lip gloss, but okay. Okay, then we have Youth Haas Glow and Go Gold Eye Recovery Patches. I'm not a huge fan of eye masks, but a lot of people are. Um, and then we have the lip mask that goes with it. Again, not a super big fan. Okay, this is good. This is the Deli Kate Soothing Cleanser. It's Cleanse and Soothe. It's a Kate Somerville cleanser. Um, I like Kate Somerville. I use this cleanser in the clinic when a client's skin is completely stressed or we've done a peel. If you got if you've got compromised skin, this will help calm calm irritation while cleansing. It has amino acids and ceramides, helps reduce visible redness and irritation while working to improve the skin. Okay. I needed a good cleanser, actually. I really did and I like the packaging. It's so cute. So here we go. That's not bad at all. Let's just make, let's make sure there's a safety seal. We've got a safety seal. Perfect. Good. You know me. I'm pretty big on safety seals. Like why aren't there safety seals on everything? All right. And the last but not least is this. And this is a queen or Quavine Dragon Duo 
eyeliner. Oh. Okay. So we have a. F oh, did I turn you off? I hope not. We have a felt tip, which I like. I hope it's not a shiny one. I hope I didn't turn this off. And then we have a just regular liner right here, which is good for your water line. Or I like to line right underneath my lashes on that water on the top water line so that my lashes look like they're connected. So there we go. All right, guys, let's go through this real quick. What am I like super impressed? No, I'm not super impressed. But if Okay, here's the truth. If I didn't get the Kate Somerville product, I'd be like bummed. But the Kate Somerville product is probably very expensive. It's probably what made the box, honestly. Okay, so let's go through the prices. Um, the Kate Somerville cleanser is $44. The set of the mask and the lip mask is $21. Mm. The Quavine Dragon Duo is $26. The Rodial Sculpting is $34. What the hell is it? Helps define facial contours and add volume to sagging skin. What? There's a safety seal though. Why is it so damn expensive? That is dumb. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Okay. The two lip products, Be a Bombshell and Appeal, um, are $18 together. I guess this one is an extra. And then the Coco Mist and June Jacobs are $24 together. So the overall value of my box is $167. And again, I paid 40. So am I super excited about it? No. Um, we did get this too. It's a hand lotion, vitamin E and aloe, and it's lightly scented by Dawn Mist. Um, okay. So am I super excited about this box? I'm not probably because I wanted more makeup. Um, but it's not a, I think it was a beauty box. I don't think it was with I don't think it was specific on um, makeup. I think it was just a beauty box. So do I wish I had more makeup? Yes, but I did get makeup. So it's not like terrible. I do like the two lip products right here. I mean, I'm not huge on, um, I'm not huge on liquid lips, like matte liquid lips anymore because uh, they're so drying, but I do like the color of the Ulta Beauty, but that's a freebie anyway. Um, I like the Appeal Cosmetics lip color. It's beautiful. Um, I might have some like this from Appeal, but probably not the same shade because I don't remember this shade. Um, the Be A Bombshell gloss. I mean, I'm not like super excited about it, but I'm not like mad. Um, I'm not mad at getting the eyeliners. I could always use eyeliners. Um, the, the masks, the lip mask, First of all, lip masks just weird me out. I don't know if it's because I have to sit there and just like let this thing sit on my lips for a while and I'm impatient and I always have to be on the go. And the same thing with eye masks. Like I feel like when I put these kind of things on my face, I can't move. And me and not moving and having to sit, like I'll sit and watch a TV show or a movie at night or something and I won't move. I will lay there and watch it. But if I have to stay still for a certain amount of time, because I'm like, have something on my face. I start to feel claustrophobic. I twitch. I feel like I have to itch something. I need to go to the bathroom. I get hungry. Like all of those things happen. So I don't just don't like, they kind of make me feel like a prisoner when that is ridiculous and dramatic. Okay. Um, the gold mist by the beauty crop. Uh, my daughter will use this and I'm sure she'll like it. The 
June Jacobs toner, spraying mist toner. I'm not upset by it at all. Um, and I'll use it. The Rodile Dragon's Blood Rodile Sculpting Gel it is so damn expensive for 15 milliliters. And I'll use it and see if all of a sudden I look like I'm 25. And the last but not least, I'm very excited about this. I like comer. I don't even know what I just said. What the fuck is a comer? <laughs> it literally just came out of my mouth. I don't even, I think my brain got confused. I don't know what, I don't know why I said that. Okay. Um, the Kate Somerville Delicate Soothing Cleanser. I'm super excited about it. I needed a new cleanser and I'm going to use the hell out of it. I am. And I like the color. It's pretty. Like I said, this won the box for me, but I thought it was going to be a little bit more expensive because some of her serums are like astronomical and I could never, and I would never pay for them. But when I get them in a box, I'm very excited. Also, I'm sorry if I keep taking the microphone away and it sounds ridiculous. I should have put it on my shirt because, but look, when I put it on my shirt, it hangs like this and I just feel weird. Like the point of this shirt, the point of this shirt, this neckline is to have a, like a sort of cropped kind of turtleneck. Regular turtlenecks, they make me feel like I'm being strangled and I'm going to die. But short cropped ones, I like them. Plus, I have a long ass neck and I like to cover it sometimes. Okay. Anyway, tell me what you thought about this beauty box, mystery beauty box. Would you get one? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What was your favorite product in here? Again, I'm linking it in my description box. If you have a problem with this box, please don't write the seller or say anything to them. We are pushing positivity. We are protecting our peace and we need to protect hers as well. Um, it's definitely worth the price. Honestly, it's very much worth the price. $167 and I paid $40. It's way over the value of what I paid. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. I will make sure to link everything in my description box as well as this lip tint. It's so pretty and it stays on my lips forever. Like once the glossiness goes away, I just have beautiful magenta lips and I'm obsessed with it. It's by Milani and I don't even buy Milani stuff a lot. So I was really impressed by this tint. I really don't like that gloss. Um, I'm really impressed by the staying power of this tint and it's beautiful and I really like it. I'm into tints this year because I'm also in my lazy era and if something stays on my lips longer than a regular lipstick, I'm all for it. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys are doing really good. Thanks for being here. Let me know what you thought about this box and I will see you guys in my, oh, wait, I keep forgetting to do my ending. Let me know what you thought about this box. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.